Welcome to another video on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. In this video, I'm going to cover a very basic and simple concept which still confuses many of people, especially those who are new into the world of APIs and microservices. So it's a very common question being asked in the interviews as well that what is the difference between APIs and microservices, how they correlate with each other and how they differ from each other. So some of the questions uh, that come into the mind of the people, uh, especially uh, the novice people uh, into this world is that are the same. Because uh, in a layman uh, term and in general, uh, what people think is that they essentially serve the similar purpose of uh, exposing some of the services to the outer world uh, uh, to enable the digital journey of any organization. But the fact remains that they are not the same. So APIs and microservices are two different things and that's what I'm going to explain uh, with some of the example scenarios in this video. So the first thing that makes microservices different from APIs is the basic core concept and what purpose of existence of these two is. When we talk about microservices, one very common thing uh, that is explained together with microservices is the architecture that they serve. So there is a monolithic architecture and then there is a shift from monolithic architecture to microservices architecture and that's where microservices come into the picture. Normally in the old legacy systems, we have a monolithic system, a big fat application that has all of the functionalities clubbed together in the form of single packaged application. And those monolithic applications once converted into the fine grained services to break the functionality into smaller sub parts that's what um, brings in uh, microservices. So microservices architecture uh, is an architecture in which we break down a bigger application into the smaller pieces which are reusable, which are resilient, which are flexible and which can be uh, utilized in a more efficient manner. On the other hand, if we talk about APIs, APIs are exposing the underlying services. So APIs are not implementing the functionality itself, rather APIs are acting as a wrapper, they are acting as a gateway, they are acting as an interface, as the name suggests application programming interface. So they are an interface and they are going to expose the underlying services and in that way they are getting a relationship with the microservices that we are going to talk further in this video. So the second thing is that uh, uh, brings a difference uh, clearly between the two is that not every microservice is exposed as an API while an API can have a microservices microservice as a backend or it can expose a fat monolithic service. So this is a clear difference between the APIs and microservices because microservices uh, are, not, are not directly exposed in a microservice architecture, in the, in the recent modernized architecture, rather they are exposed through the APIs. So APIs are wrapper or interface on top of microservices, but on the other end, an API is not essentially exposing a microservice. It can still expose a monolithic service as well, and it can have any type of source from where it is picking up the data and then making it available to the outside world. So this is a big difference between microservices and APIs. Then another difference is that APIs act as a door to microservices while microservices are implementing the real logic. So this makes it very clear for you to understand that APIs are acting as a door. So whatever logic you want to implement, for example, uh, let's suppose that you want to implement a application uh, for your organization related to some billing module. So within the billing module, you might have different type of uh, services. You might have uh, small uh, fine grained services. So each service is implemented separately in the form of a microservice. And then on top of that, you can have any number of APIs which are going to expose those microservices. So in this way, APIs are acting as a door to those microservices. And when we say APIs are acting as a door, then we, uh, for any door we know, we do need a doorkeeper or a security guard as well. So in this scenario, we have another concept of API management platforms, which uh, which are working for the API gateways to govern and to uh, safeguard all of our digital assets. I have already created several videos uh, about API management. 
how API management works and what is the significance of API management. I strongly suggest you to uh, have a look on those videos as that, that will make uh, your concepts about API management also very much clear. Then the next and the last point about APIs in microservices for those who are beginners to understand the difference is that uh, uh, the the purpose and the reasons of existence reason of existence of APIs in microservices is different. When we talk about uh, uh, APIs, APIs are enabling a standardized integration by exposing uh, the services uh, in a way that uh, that are based on certain standard. For example, when we say when, when we expose some AP, uh, APIs in the form of REST services, then we have standard HTTP methods, we have CRUD operations. And we have all other standards being followed. So basically, we expose the services in a more streamlined, in a more standardized manner by using the APIs. And on top of that, we can always have API governance. We can have API management, as I was discussing before. And on the other side, when we talk about microservices, microservices are uh, based on an architecture which enables scalable, resilient, flexible architecture. So whenever you are implementing your application, you have choice. You have a choice to create one monolithic FAT application. And the second choice is that you uh, break down your application into the smaller pieces, in the smaller services, which are fine grained, which are scalable, which are resilient, and which follow the service oriented architecture basic principles. So, in this way, you are totally uh, segregating your individual services. And then on top of that, you are having APIs which are going to expose those services. Another important point that you need to understand is that not every microservice is exposed as an API because uh, you can have some of those uh, microservices which are uh, internal and which are serving some other purposes. Maybe those are being uh, invoked by some other microservices or maybe those uh, serve some of the internal uh, purposes which you don't want to make public and those you want to keep as private. So this video, I hope, makes it clear for you to understand the basic differences and the basic concepts associated with microservices and APIs. I didn't go into much of the details and nitty gritties because I wanted to keep the concepts and keep the video as simple as possible for anyone who is beginner to the APIs and microservices to have a clear understanding of these two concepts. For more information about microservices, APIs, and integration, you can visit my website tutorialspedia.com. And also, if you prefer to watch uh, videos, uh, content, and video tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to Tutorialspedia YouTube channel, where I have plenty of videos around these topics. That's it from this video. Thank you very much.